So what a great day of dressage for the eventers in uh, London with Australia at the moment after 37 horses having gone on the first day. We're actually in the lead in front of the Germans. So that's quite an amazing feat when you think the Germans really are the world leaders in dressage and uh, especially you'd expect in the venting for them to be well and truly in the lead. But no, with Andrew Hoy in fourth place with Rutherglen, Glenn, with Sam Griffiths on Happy Times in seventh and Chris Burton in eighth on Lalani. It's a fantastic result so far. Uh, I think the first horse out for us was Chris Burton. He was second to go in the draw following another Australian who's uh, actually now an American, Boyd Martin. And Boyd led the way first out, not an easy job, with Otis Barbateri, and he scored a 50.7. Uh, Chris was second out with Leilani and did a super, super test, and I thought that he would have been well and truly ahead of Boyd, but no, a 46.1, only four penalties ahead. So I think there's a bigger difference for me watching it. Leilani now in a double bridle. He looked, uh, Chris uh, looked like he rode a super test. There was a very big mistake in one flying change, and that will be very costly, uh, not only in the mark itself, but in the submission and the impulsion mark. So early in the group of horses to go, I think they were probably a little bit tough on him. But uh, never, nevertheless, uh, to be eighth with that horse after uh, 37 gone is a very, very good result. Sam Griffiths in seventh place with Happy Times by Heraldic. Uh, it was a really good test. Uh, the horse is a little bit quick in the paces for me. I think it needs a little bit more cadence, but by the same token, very correct, very accurate, always in a good balance. And uh, in fourth place, Andrew Hoy in his seventh Olympic Games uh, with the beautiful horse Rutherglen, Glen, a very upstanding, lovely horse. He did a fabulous test and... Uh, Andrew looking as like he's riding as well as he ever has on the flat. His position was superb. He made it look easy. I guess with seven Olympics under your belt, I guess uh, it would start to become a little bit easy, but uh, it's not, and he certainly made it look that way. A great test and very impressive. In third place at the moment, Mary King with Imperial Cavalier. Good on the Brits and uh, I'm sure a very good test. In second place uh, at the moment... Uh, Dirk Schroeder with King Artis, 39.8. Not that far behind um, is Andrew Hoy with a 41.7. So within touching uh, there, if he goes well cross-country and show jumping. And in the lead at the moment, none other than the very, very famous Ingrid Klimka with Butts of Braxis. Again, a horse by Heraldic, the same sire as uh, uh, Happy Time. So... Um, Ingrid rode a fantastic test. It was always even, well-balanced. It was in a snaffle bridle, a little more open in the frame than I would expect for a horse starting to show collection. For me, I think Abraxas lacks a little in the natural ability in the paces and lacks a little cadence, always looks a little bit over the front legs. Um, but by the same token, a super job. And of course, Ingrid certainly throws no marks away. She certainly rode beautifully the flexions left and right were the same every corner every preparation was a beautiful beautiful test and of course Ingrid rides uh, Grand Prix dressage as well so her feeling for the arena and feeling at home in 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 this discipline is certainly part and parcel of her name being the the daughter of the very famous Rainer Klimka so um very very different types of horses day in the first day of dressage from the thoroughbred types right through to the heavier warm blood types. Um, it was interesting to see the marks and uh, with Gillian Rolton, Australian on the ground jury, um, it was great to have an Aussie up there helping us along the way. So a fabulous day. I said here very happy with a big smile on my face having watched all those tests and to think that the Aussies are beating the Germans so far. And we're in first place after the first day and uh, in line at the moment for gold medal. So let's keep it up and let's hope everything goes well. And we look forward to tomorrow's day when we have the two Fredericks, Lucinda and Clayton, um, both on very good horses. And the better horses, of course, are kept for the second day. So we look forward to seeing that. And uh, let's hope that I can see you tomorrow night and be smiling again and uh, we can say that we're still in the lead. So enjoy watching the second day. And uh, it was a fabulous day, Dressage. And congratulations to all. The surfaces look fantastic. 
the sun was shining, the judging looked very fair and even across the board, and it was nice to see that they were allowed to wear fly bonnets, even though I'm not so sure that that many flies around, but if it helps, it helps. In Australia, where there is plenty of flies, we often find it difficult to get the committees to allow us to wear them. So let's hope that we can keep in keeping with the rest of the world. And anything that helps our horses go a little bit better, I'm all for it. And uh, congratulations to the Aussies, Andrew and uh, Sam and Chris. Well done. Fabulous job. And also well done to uh, all the team behind them. I must say the horses looked as well presented, if not better, than any others. And congratulations to the grooms and all those putting those finishing touches on the overall picture. And to uh, the coach, um, Brett Parbury, who obviously did a fantastic job getting them in there with all their positioning for shoulders and half passes and their medium trots and their differences in the paces and the straightness, all those little things that make such a big difference. Congratulations. It was a great job.